And on the subject of protecting our country from terrorism, let me just say this. Thousands of words have been written about the new Labour leader. But you only really need to know one thing. He thinks the death of Osama bin Laden was a tragedy. No. A tragedy is nearly 3,000 people murdered one morning in New York. A tragedy is the mums and dads who never came home from work that day. A tragedy is people jumping from the towers after the planes hit. My friends, we cannot let that man inflict his security-threatening, terrorist-sympathizing, Britain-hating ideology on this country we love. This clip from David Cameron's conference speech today did nothing to turn me off Jeremy Corbyn as it was supposed to. In fact, it told me more about David Cameron and the Conservatives than it did about Jeremy Corbyn. By taking what Jeremy Corbyn said about Osama Bin Laden totally out of context, David Cameron has shown me that he is shit scared of Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonald and the fact that the public may just come round to their way of thinking. Cameron is going to push the Corbyn will be a national security threat nonsense as often as he can because that's all he's got. How can he have a go at Corbyn for wanting to help the poor? For wanting to help the disabled in this country? How can he have a go at Corbyn for wanting big business to pay their fair share of tax? Or wanting equality for women? Or putting people before big business? Cameron can't have a go at him for those things because they're perfectly reasonable things to do. So the only thing that Cameron has, which he takes completely out of context, is the comment about the death of Osama Bin Laden. I'll tell you what a tragedy is that the Tories are putting another 300,000 children into poverty by cutting tax credits. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, that the Tories have removed the independent living allowance, making life so much harder for 18,000 disabled people. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, that the Tories allow big business and rich individuals to avoid paying billions in tax. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, that the Tories are cutting the police force to the bone. So much now they're saying they may not even turn up to burglaries. I'll tell you what a tragedy is. That the Tories are making the NHS so bad that privatisation to Tory donors will become the only option. I'll tell you what a tragedy is. Cutting legal aid so people who can't afford justice now have to plead guilty to save money. I'll tell you what a tragedy is. The bedroom tax that's caused countless people to kill themselves while banker bonuses go through the roof. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, that the welfare cuts have killed so many people the Department of Work and Pensions won't release the figures. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, that zero hour contracts have become the norm. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, David Cameron's part in killing 60,000 innocent people in Libya. I'll tell you what a tragedy is, David Cameron wanting to support ISIS in Syria in 2013. I'll tell you what a tragedy is. David Cameron angry at Russia because Russia are bombing terrorists that Cameron wants to support in Syria to overthrow Assad. I'll tell you what a bloody tragedy is that the Conservatives are destroying this country unopposed with only 24% of the vote. But I'll tell you the real tragedy it's that the public are in a trance, and politically, they don't know if they're having a shit shower or a haircut.